Alright, this is a training video. I'm on Merc's side. See, that's Merc's side. See where the cursor is? That's Merc's. This is Spy. This is Merc. We'll go to equipment first. You can pick four equipment. That's gas mask, which you always want. Backpack, which uh, gives you more stuff. <laughs> Mines. <laughs> Mines and frags. And this is the basics that you kind of want. I mean, backpack, I can always, you can always switch it for other things like Hamnet or Spy Traps, but we're just going to go with basic and we'll explain all the other equipment later. Okay, the basics is the Merc's basic objective in story mode is to either kill off all the spies or protect your objectives. You see in the upper left hand corner, there, it's a, there's a time limit and it shows how many objectives the spies need to get. Okay, we'll start out with weapons. Now, the weapon I chose is Rifle, which is the bestest weapon ever. And with Rifle, you can shoot and snipe. And I think the de default is uh, B, B, I believe, to snipe. Now, if you shoot them in the head, <laughs> they die immediately. If you shoot them, you know, in the butt or crotch area, it'll take more sh snipes to kill them. <laughs> but that's the basics of the rifle. And now we're going, we're going to show you the easy. All right, see? <laughs> Stupid West Coast server. <laughs> but yeah, basically, uh, that that's that. Now we'll switch to the shoot um, shotgun. <laughs> and that is the shotgun. We're going to I'm just going to explain the basic equipment that we chose. We chose uh, frag grenades, which is pretty self-explanatory. We'll go with that first. You know, if you just press the frag it'll just shoot out and you can kind of after you've been playing a while you can kind of get an idea of how far it goes how high you shoot it and whatnot now if you hold down the button you see how it beeps there how far it'll go basically so if I only give it two clicks it only goes that far <laughs> but basically you shoot a frag it takes a while to for it to yeah and then so I can dive away from it and the next equipment is backpack. You click that, right click on that, and it'll, see how I have more frags now? It'll refill it. It'll give you uh, two more equipment. So like, if I need more mines, you know, it'll refill that too. It won't refill your gas mask. Now the gas mask is importante because uh, it prevents you from going to sleep via sticky cam or smoke, which we'll explain later. You set it on here, and it's not there's a little bar that'll tell you how much gas mask you have. It's not going to be active until you press click on the right mask button and then you'll hear it and he'll start breathing like he's a freaky Darth Vader or something. Mask, And then there is mines. There are three types of mines you can set. A proxy, a laser mine, or a poison mine. The first one you hold down, you just hold down the button and it'll show you and you can uh, go down use your scroll button, your scrolly thingy, what is it called? The scrolly thingy. Mouse wheel, mouse wheel, to, uh, or, yeah, to go down. Now, the, you can die by your own mind, so make sure you're not near it or setting it when a spy is near, because they can shoot it and you can die from it. Thank you. I'm not gonna done yet. Alright, see? Okay, I put down a proxy, right? Now, a proxy, you can tell a proxy because it beeps. And if they get near it, they can get near it by sneaking. See? There's, that's how what sneaking looks like. That's a proxy. You can uh, set off a proxy, but not get, um, but not get uh, hurt by it. So you can go a little near it. That's why it's called a proxy. Your proximity will set it off. A laser mine. You'll see that it'll be silent, but there. Sorry, lags. <laughs> it takes a while. But basically, it's uh, you can see this little line here. If 
if they can walk under it, but if they pass through it, it'll set it off. Now, if he sets it off over here, it probably won't kill him. See? Because it's far away, but that's how that works. And then, last but not least, there's Poison Mine. It also has a little, like, a line that you'll see right there. If they pass through it, they'll get poisoned. See? He just got poisoned, and he'll die if he doesn't get health. Now, the other equipment that you can get is you pretty much always want to take gas masks, frags, and mines. So that leaves whatever the last equipment is. And you can take taser, never take flares. That's just, you know, it lights things up. It doesn't really do much. <laughs> um, uh, but there's taser, there's cannon, and there's spy traps. Uh, we'll go through spy traps first. Now the spy trap, um, it's similar to a poison mine or a laser mine in in that it has a little line that goes across that they pass through it. <laughs> All right. Now they can I it can either be a pr spy trap or a presence detector. If you set it to presence detector, you'll hear it beep. And if a spy gets near it, he's detected. See. Now there's a way to bypass that. You move when it stops beeping, but yeah. And then you can remove it. Exactly. And then the other one is a regular spy trap. And if you look at in the see there's this line here. We'll go through that, we'll go through that. Now if they pass through it, if a spy passes through it, See in the upper right corner there? He is now, it says target acquired, and I, I see him on my radar now as a red little blip. And he can get that removed by going to his partner, and they can see a target lost. Now, the equipment I'd like to show you is Taser, which I, I, I personally never take Taser, but some people like it against especially um, aggressive spies also known as aggro, but basically you go up to spy and he goes down and it takes them absolutely forever to get back up but eventually they will <laughs> get back up and it takes half of their life so you do it to them again <laughs> and it'll kill them. The last equipment that we'll discuss is the camnet which is it's useful but not in all maps. Um, it can be useful in, in this particular map. This map is called Museum, but it's probably more useful in other maps like Factory, as you'll learn, which I like. But basically, it is what it says, can it? You right-click, and it'll show you different parts, different areas of the map. You press E or Z to go to the next part. Okay, now that we've covered most of the equipment, or the important equipment anyway, we'll go to uh, more important things. First, we'll go. We'll talk about the Merc's visions, which the default, I believe, is tab. The first one is motion tracking, and you'll know it by because it's red, and that's what motion tracking will do. And if they're sneaking, if a spy is sneaking, it won't light up, but as soon as they stop sneaking, then it shows up and they light up like that, exactly. The second vision is the blue vision, also known as EMF. Now, it's very hard to see them, but if they turn on their visions or something, they light up. If they also put out their gun, they also light up. So if they, you ha if they have any of their visions on or pull out their gun, they will light up in blue, and you'll see them much more easily. Another thing is also, if you look on your uh, little reticle, the Merc reticle, and here in the middle of the screen, um, you'll see that it shows, it lights up as if a, a ripple in the water. If a spy is running to my right, then it will show up on that little to the right. See, like that, they're that way. So I know that they're that way. And then if someone is running behind me, uh, you can tell that as well. Okay, so say he takes his gun out, um, not silently, but regular, regularly, then see it shows the arrow. That means he's above up there. Running around or pulling out your gun like that will set it off as well.